So Opportunity's been wildly successful mission. Uh, I don't think any of us ever guessed it would explore the myriad of different terrains and surprises that we found. We landed right in Eagle Crater. That was most of our prime mission, or a good fraction of it. We then drove over to Endurance Crater, which was a slightly larger crater. We then spent the um, better part of a couple of years, if I recall correctly, driving down to Victoria Crater. And we explored that, and that was a yet even larger crater. And now we're taking this, this, this real challenge to get to Endeavor Crater, which is, you know, so much further than we ever thought the rover would be able to drive. Endeavor Crater is a very large impact crater that's much older than any of those we've seen. And so we still have approximately 12 to 14 kilometers to get to Endeavor. We were simply driving along, we looked at the images that we had acquired, and we saw this dark spot out, and we said, well, whoa, that's different. <laughs> Let's go there. And so we drive to it and investigate it. Amazingly, we found, you know, three or four of these meteorites, you know, gigantic chunks of iron just sitting on the surface of Mars. Two of them are almost, they have what, what we call a cavernous weathering, where the interiors look like they've been eaten out which is quite common here on the Earth when you have water that infuses and weathers out the interior. Have they been buried and exhumed? Uh, was there liquid water when it was buried or was there water at the surface? And these are all the kinds of questions that we're asking. <laughs> then just recently we found another large rock that was completely different called Marquette Island. You've gotten rid of the weathering rind and measured its composition, and it's a very olivine-rich basalt. So it's a rock, and it has big crystals. So it probably cooled slowly from some, at some depth. And this was some, some other piece of Mars that had probably gotten blasted off from a meteorite strike. So, you know, here's a whole other piece of this, the planet somewhere that they can analyze and try to figure out how it fits into the whole geological picture of Mars. I think everybody's stunned that the rovers are still going. I mean, you know, it's, it's been repeated, you know, so many times, well, this was a 90-day mission that we're six years into a 90-day mission. It's exploration in its truest form. You, you know, that's what's so wonderful about having a rover. If you don't like where you are, go out and go someplace else. It's just like if I was walking around somewhere on Earth, <laughs> except everything takes a little bit longer. But, but at the end of the drive, you get images and you look and you say, well, what's the same? What's different? What have we discovered? And what's better than having a rover that can do that <laughs> while you're here in the comfort of Earth? <laughs>